Okay, hello everybody, it's me, Kamaka Diaz. I'm here picking up some Opala because Subaru loves the earth, and so do I. I just wish there was more I can do. Oh, what's that? Hi, Kamaka. Oh, wow, four time world champ, Chris and Moore? Hey, jump on in. I want to take you someplace. All right, let's go. Wow, Krista, thanks so much for picking me up. So where are we going? Of course, I'm super excited. I'm taking you to Hamako Marsh today to work with healthy cool. climate communities and awesome. plant some trees. Oh, super cool. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. So what have you been up to? What have I been up to? Um, well, with the pandemic, obviously everyone has had to change their schedules a little bit and adapt their, their lives to a new type of lifestyle. Um, so things have definitely slowed down for me. I'm not competing as much, but I'm still getting in the water every day and trying to keep up with my training. I'm spending a lot of time with my husband and my family awesome and my quality pups. quality time. Yes, nice. yes. Awesome. <laughs> and what about your foundation, the More Aloha Foundation? How's that going? So I started More Aloha, my charitable foundation, back in 2018. And it focuses on just helping the next generation of young females to be strong, confident, and compassionate. We actually partnered with, um, with Healthy Climate Communities uh, earlier on in the year around, I think it was May, and we had a, a small group come and help plant trees and then we went for a surf session, but... Oh nice, I like the last part. <laughs> <laughs> right now things have definitely slowed down and we're just gearing up for hopefully a strong 2021. Yeah, I believe it. Sounds like an <laughs> awesome foundation. Uh, so tell me more about this Hamakua Marsh. It's a great nonprofit that I came across because I was interested in partnering with someone, as some organization to plant trees at one of my favorite local surf spots mm -hmm. and they got me in touch with Lisa and Lisa is the person um, she started healthy climate communities. Oh cool. She sounds like an awesome person so she is can't wait she to is. meet her. Yep, here we are. Oh so this is a wow it's so beautiful. I really want to introduce you to Lisa. She started Healthy Climate Communities here at Hamaku Marsh. She um, is all about educating the youth and just people about climate change and Love getting that. them involved with planting trees and getting excited to do their part to make the world a better place. She's pretty awesome. So, so nice to have you back. Thank you for having me awesome. back. So how, how did you get into this? Well, it started with just a concern about climate change. I was really worried that we weren't doing enough about five years ago. So I started this nonprofit to do community education, a lot of education in schools. So we would bring school groups together to come and plant a plot of this native forest. We're planting all native trees on this oh, watershed. And down here, down on the wetland, this is um, a Department of Land and Natural Re uh, Resources um, Wildlife Sanctuary. There's endangered native wetland birds here. So we're planting native forests to go with our native birds. Cool. Well, this place looks beautiful and I'm really excited to see more, learn more. And I'm just so happy that Krista randomly picked me up on the side of the road. <laughs> so let's go. Awesome, let's go. <laughs> So you, you would usually host a lot of events, so like more Aloha Foundation? Um, yeah, we do community groups like that. We do even more schools. And unfortunately this year, because of COVID, we can't have the schools come. So it's great to have people like you guys here helping out. Um, but normally we do a lot of school groups cool. and we kind of combine education. They learn about the birds, the native endangered birds. They learn about native endangered plants and all the other native plants and they get a chance to get their hands dirty planting and caring for the forest. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah. So Lisa, how are some ways that people can learn more about healthy climate communities and get involved? Okay, good question. So our, we have a website, people can go there and through that they can see when there's volunteer events so they could come and help hands on or they could gift a tree, you know, make a donation, that's helpful. Or they could just use those resources. There's a lot of educational resources on there. 
Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Healthy Climate Community loves Earth and Subaru loves Earth as well. Mahalo so much, Carissa, for picking me up on the side of the road and taking me to this awesome place. The waves are looking pretty good. Would you mind taking me out for a lesson? For sure. Let's go. Awesome.